So when we discovered that, when we found the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle and their point of concurrency was equal distance from the vertices of a triangle, let's see what happens if we find the angle bisectors point of concurrency. So we start with a new triangle. I'm going to remove a few labels here. And let's find the angle bisector. One angle bisector, two angle bisectors, three angle bisectors. Now we'll find the point at intersection. There's our point of concurrency for the three angle bisectors. Move our vertices around, we see that that point is consistent. And unlike the point of concurrency for the perpendicular bisectors, what do you notice about that particular point? It stays within the triangle. So it appears that this point of concurrency may be equal distances between the three sides. So let's find that distance. The distance between H and this side G1 is 1.12. I suspect that it's also 1.12 between H and side EG and also between H and side FG. So we can verify that by creating a circle with the center and radius. We want to start with this center and the radius is going to be 1.12. And what do you notice about that circle? It touches each of those sides in exactly one point, doesn't it? Now, unfortunately, because I statically fixed that distance to be 1.12, as I move my vertices around, it will not remain fixed. But just as D is called the circumcenter of this triangle, H is called the incenter of this triangle.